Hi, welcome back to Recycle Creations. This week I build this federal style lamp post that approximates the trim around my front door. I don't really show any of the electrical work involved in this project. Please consult with a local electrician if you decide to take on a project similar to this and be sure to follow all of the local building and electrical codes. I started out by ripping a inch and a half deep dado to accept the wiring for the lamp. This is just a normal ground contact treated 4x4 post and I set it 24 inches deep in concrete. I used my pole setting level to ensure that the post was plumb both directions. I let the concrete set about six to eight hours before I did anything else with it and then I trimmed the post to length. Here I drilled the hole with the longest bit I could find just to provide some comic relief. It was actually the only auger bit that I owned that was the right diameter to drill the appropriate sized hole in this particular situation. I used some S3S cedar from the home store to clad the post. Here I'm just ripping it down to width of the original treated post. Over at the router table I installed a round nose bit as well as laid out lines of tape where to lift and drop the particular trim pieces. I discovered it was important to try to keep the piece moving as steadily as I could, minimizing stops which minimized any variations in the flute that I was cutting. I cut the center flute first and then moved the fence to cut either side and all you have to do is flip the piece end for end and cut both sides at the same fence setting. Each of the trim pieces gets three flutes. In this particular clip I'm showing cutting the flutes in the two smaller thinner pieces of the cladding. and outside for a quick test fit. Due to the electrical connections and boxes in the back of the post, the back piece is shorter, so here I'm marking the flutes where they need to end on the front piece so that the front piece extends all the way to the ground, but the flutes match front and back. Using the same layout lines, I drop the workpiece on the bit as well as lift it at the appropriate point at the end of the cut. For the wider two cuts, I had to use an auxiliary fence on my router table. I transferred the layout lines to it and made the same cuts. Outside to install the pieces, I used some adhesive caulking and brad nails to hold the cladding in place. Here it's just a rinse and repeat on the second two pieces. My front door has a trim piece on each side that has a Roman OG above and below the flutes. So I installed the Roman OG bit in my router table and routed some trim to approximate the look of the door frame. I used a much wider piece than was necessary to make it safer at the router table and then just simply ripped it out at the table saw. I utilized several offcuts and made enough trim at one time for the entire project. Over at my chop saw cut the 45 miters necessary to wrap around the post. 
back out on location to install with glue and brad nails. I glued up some off cuts to make the capstone and cut it to the same size as the trim I just installed. Because the treated post was a little proud of the trim, I routed a divot in the top of the capstone, actually the bottom of the capstone, so that it would fit the treated post. Once I cut out the outline, then I just hogged out the middle and then cleaned it up with a chisel. used a Forstner bit to drill a hole to accept the wire for the lamp. Here I am outside giving it a test fit. To seal this project up I'm using this Alex Plus 35 year acrylic latex caulk. It does a great job of sealing things up. It's very paintable and it does have a little bit of grab to it if you need to use it to stick things together. I put a couple of pretty long screws down through the capstone into the 4x4 post just to ensure that I had a solid surface by which to mount the lamp. I trimmed out the bottom of the post much like I did the top, matching the details of the frame around the door. I gave the entire project a quick coat of outside rated paint. I intend on giving it a sand and several more coats to seal it up good before winter. Then all was left was install the post flange and reconnect the lamp and the project was finished. If you enjoyed this project, please click like and subscribe and join me back here. I have new content several times each month.